been on fire today. No matter what's called by the offense, they've had an answer for it. And it's taken in at the nine. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at him turn. Oh, he did it again. 35 yards on the return. Picked up some good blocks as well. And the offense will come back onto the field for the first and 10. Here's the Colts now as they get ready for their first possession on offense of the second half. They were able to get the ball back here, didn't surrender any points. Now they looked out of that lead. Now how about the boost the defense gave them? Going right out on the field, shutting them down, not giving up any points, and turning the ball back over. They want to do their part now and show them a little respect and some gratitude by scoring some points. And to get a little more cushion. First down, Luck. He's going to fire one deep, middle of the field. And incomplete, a drop there in the middle, third of the field. That'll bring up second down. Second down following the incompletion. On every offensive coordinator, every play caller sheet, they have about five or six plays per game that they call shot plays or big plays. And you don't get many opportunities to dial them up. And they just did. And they drop it with a great chance to make a big play. That's going to hurt. But sometimes you just have to take things into your own hands, don't you? I mean, the offense is really struggling in this game. They're the ones keeping things going. They have to continue to play at that level. Throwing on third down. Luck. Finding time. And he took the contact as he was throwing it. And the ball drops incomplete. Putting pressure on the guy throwing the football is always good. But when you can couple that with contact on him, that leads to an incompletion, as we just saw there. That's winning football. And this is going to carry well into the end zone for a touchback. And Detroit getting set to go now. And last drive, three and out. Still a goose egg on the scoreboard. How do they break that goose egg? They've got to find a way to get the ball in the hands of their playmakers, give them some space, and try and make a first down and get some momentum going. It's been a struggle for them throughout the game. And that three and out on the last possession, that told you just how stalled they are on offense. So who will step up here? We'll see. Here's Stafford. Ebron with it over the middle. And he gets this one all the way up to the 40. A good pick up there at 22. Partner, it's a lot of fun watching the NFL now, isn't it? Because when the big fella runs routes, it used to be when we were kids, he'd run about three different routes, and that was it. Now he can run anything and catch the ball as we just saw there. On the ground, it's Riddick. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. Trying to get one more in here before the quarter breaks. Back now here on EA Sports. A lot of happy faces in the crowd at this point as their guys have a big lead here to start quarter number four. Here's Stafford now on second down. And he's just going to get rid of this thing. To no one here, he throws it away. And now it's third. Whether they deserve credit or not, the defense is going to take credit for that incompletion because it always feels good when you slow down an offense. Throwing on third down, Stafford. He's got time in the pocket. And he can't quite pick it. No interception so far. That probably should have been their first. But at least it's fourth down. They're already slim. Hopes are going to ride on this one. They'll go on fourth down. Desperation time for Stafford on fourth down. He's got time. The Colts are going to get him. Down he goes. Trent Cole coming in from that outside linebacker spot. He gets him down for a loss of five. Well, at this stage of the game in the second half, down three scores, I guess they felt like they needed to push. And let's face it, with this deficit, if they give up another score here after they didn't get it, does it really matter? Right. It right. really doesn't. They had to go and try and make something happen if they had any chance of winning this game. And now Indianapolis set to take the field. They've got the lead. Last time had to punt it, though. What's the key to this drive? I think it's leverage. Ah, the leverage. big guys up front. 
You know the motivational speech on the sideline is, guys, give us an opportunity. Protect the passer, create space for our runners, and let's go ahead and get these guys. Low man wins. Let's go do it on this drive. <laughs> we'll watch that leverage on this drive. Second down following the run. Again, we'll see the pistol here. To throw on second down is locked. And he almost intercepted it. They haven't picked a ball off yet. That probably should have been their first. And it's third down now. So it is third down now, but less than a yard to go. They'll come out in the pistol. Luck looks to throw on third and one. And incomplete. The contact made the ball roam free and brings up fourth down. We know it's not an easy job to go out and catch passes when people are trying to tackle you and knock the ball away. But the bottom line is, that's a pass he's got to have and a pass he should have caught. And with things looking pretty good on the scoreboard, they're going to keep the offense out there and go for it here on fourth. Here we go. It's Gore. And he'll have the first down, getting this one to the 14-yard line. It'll be a gain of 11, and they're able to pick up the conversion here on fourth down. This is a question of who wants it more. Easy to get stuck behind all the big bodies, but you've got to find a space and fight forward for the first down. In the red zone this time. On first down, it's locked. Oh, and it's incomplete. That would have been big in the end zone if he could have held on. Instead, it's second down. A missed opportunity for an interception would have killed off a drive. He had a chance there to finish things off. Didn't get it done. I guess that's why a lot of those guys do not play offense. On second and ten, lock. And he can't corral it. Maybe a big missed opportunity there defensively in the end zone. And now third down. And the offense looking to pick up the first down after the second down incompletion. And it looks like we've got a dime set here defensively. Six DBs in the game. Now it's locked. And he couldn't hang on to it through the contact. Incomplete. On any passes in the middle of the field, anyone who's going after the football is going to be conscious that it's probably going to be contested, and often physically. Sometimes that leads to drops. And Vinatieri's kick is good. And that stretches this lead even further. It's now 24 to nothing. So it's three more points, and that widens things out even further here in the fourth. Hey, in this league, you can never have too much. So if you're in range, grab the three whenever you can. That'll be taken in the end zone. Oh, nice move. <laughs> and in hindsight, probably should have stayed where he was as he'll only get back to the 16-yard line. Now the Lions offense, they get ready to head back out there. And on that last drive, went for it on fourth, turned it over. A good job by their defense, though. They held him to three, but this offense, they've got to be a little bit better, a little bit more careful here. And sometimes when you see these calls on fourth down, when they decide to go for it, it's not necessarily the coach saying, I believe in my offense. Sometimes the coach saying, I believe in my defense. I can afford to go for it here, because if we don't get it, I don't think we'll give up more than three. And that's exactly what I think that factored in. I do. I think that he had that in his mind going into the game, that I'm going to be aggressive on offense, because I know I've got a defense that can hold up their end. And he's brought down after a good game. A good pick up there, a 22. And they're going to hurry back to the line now. Now Stafford. Complete here to the right to Bolden. And he'll go down right around the 47 this time. Give him two yards on that play. And that'll bring up second down. Again, it's Stafford. And seeing nowhere to throw, he chucks this one away from harm. Incomplete. Now it's third down. Let's face it, perfection is something we all chase, whether it's playing this game or whatever we do. Hard to attain, but that's what they were searching for as that pass goes incomplete. Throwing again at Stafford. And in. 
incomplete here on third down. He was trying to find Marvin Jones that time. And that's going to make it fourth down. Here's Sam Martin now as he'll punt it away for the fourth time today. He's averaging just under 50 yards a punt as he gets this away. And he'll take this in at the one-yard line. It's a 47-yard punt, but they did give up 10 on the return. And the Colts are going to take over, albeit deep in their own territory. They'll try and start the drive here with Gore. Stays on his feet. And he'll get this one up to about his 14. Give him three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. Not a big run on the first play of the drive, but that doesn't necessarily mean it was a bad play. Sometimes you're just trying to settle in, get your guys a little bit of contact, and get things moving. Gore back there is the lone setback. Luck going to throw it. It got his man complete. And he's brought down after a good game. A really good pickup of 28 yards. So after that big game, let's see what else the offense has up its sleeve. And they just hit another big completion there. And I think in days gone by in the NFL, you might have asked, is this a little bit of overkill? Is this rubbing it in? I don't think people feel the same. Now hold everything here. We're going to get a timeout by the offense. And we're back. The offense had a chance to talk things over. We'll see what they come up with here on this next play. On first down, Luck. And that will be incomplete with a clock down now to 13 seconds. Second and 10, Luck again. His throw caught at about the five. And he will get into the end zone. It's another touchdown. This thing is ugly. So a little icing on the cake there before the clock gets all zeros. What a way to finish things off. Exactly what you want. Not much time and a touchdown to put things away. Vinatieri now for the point after. And the lead will grow by one more. Now after the touchdown, here's Pat McAfee to kick. This is taken about seven yards deep. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. One receiver left, three to the right. On first down at Stafford. Now a desperation throw deep downfield, and he knocks the ball away, and it falls incomplete. Golden Tate, his intended receiver, and it'll be second and 10. And we're hitting the end of this one, and it looks to probably be the final play. Three receivers to the left, one to the right. One last throw here for Stafford. He's going to let it fly into a double team, and it's intercepted. A great read, and it's picked off. And that will write a finish to this ball game. All right, week one in the books. It's just week one, Charles, but to start off the season this way, great confidence builder. Fantastic confidence builder, and every team we ever talk to always talks about winning on opening weekend, being 1-0, and setting the pace. The team that we saw win today did exactly that. So for the Colts, you can't ask for a better start as they pitch a shutout here in the opener. And they'll hit the road next week to take on the Denver Broncos. Meanwhile, for the Lions, they go down to defeat here in the opener. And they'll be at home next week for a date with the Tennessee Titans.